Good morning, good morning from Creel, Mexico. I am on my way to Batipolis, the town of Batipolis. Multiple recommendations to ride this route. So I'm doing it. Dewey's not feeling well. He's just gonna hang out at the hotel today. Maybe just run some errands in town. Plus he will be doing this route tomorrow. We're gonna split ways tomorrow. He's gonna do that route tomorrow since it is headed south, his direction. I'm headed home. Might roll by Poncho's mechanic shop, see if he wants to cruise me for a little bit. Poncho's the local motorcycle mechanic who changed Dewey's oil yesterday. He's got a brand new 890 Adventure R. Might as well swing by and see if he's at his shop. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. How you doing? Is <laughs> it one more night? My friend John, he's not feeling well. He's got a stomach issue, mm -hmm. so he's gonna hang out at the hotel. I'm, I'm gonna do the the route to Batipolis. You have a, a plan or no, no plan. Nothing. I just got the Google Map. <laughs> you go to Batipolis and then back same day. Same day, same day. Uh, the the Google is very. It's, it's very confused <laughs> in this sun. Really? Yes. Uh, the goalie says it's five kilometers, but not says, uh, well, really bad is this kilometer. Right, right. Uh -huh. It's saying three hours, uh, three and a half hours. I don't know. No? Uh, no. No, maybe long. For the highway, it's maybe two hours and a half. Abandon, uh, abandon it? Abandon? Uh -huh. It's not not many people uh, travel travel for this for for the highway is is the the view is amazing. Too. Ah, Pancho's busy today. Next time, next time, next time I'm in Creel, we'll go riding with Pancho. He knows all the great routes in the area. I just wanted to ask him since he knows all the roads here, how that route is. And he said it is paved, but there are sections of it where there's you know big rains and just rock slides off the mountain that took out parts of the highway but there's only one route and it's very difficult to get lost on it there's one specific area that I really want to get to and I'm gonna have to crank it to get back in time into Creole before sundown but it's just a fantastic twisty road because we're currently at 8,000 feet but this takes you to the bottom of Copper Canyon so a drastic change in climate but also a drastic change in elevation. And when I saw photos of this road, it's something that you know reminds me of roads in like Switzerland. I never rode in Switzerland, but from the photos I've seen, it's like, wow, that looks like a <laughs> the Swiss Alps. So let's get rolling. Oh shit, I need gas. I left so quick, I forgot about gas. Let's see if I, there's any gas on the way. No, nope, I gotta get gas. Thomas, Thomas. Okay, bien, bien. Siente, trescienta. Gracias. So these two guys are from somewhere in Mexico. I'm not exactly sure. I gotta look at their plates. But they were parked by us yesterday at the adventure park, and they noticed Dewey's sticker on the bike, so they <laughs> messaged him on Instagram. And I happened to run into him on the road, turning back around for gas. They're going to the same place I am, so why not have a little group ride today? Oh yeah, these guys are moving. Well hell, if we keep this pace, <laughs> we'll probably be there in an hour. GPS is showing me three hours, 10 minutes. We are descending very, very fast. We were at 8,000 feet, currently at 6,100 feet. I can already feel it getting warmer.
the road has worsened slightly as we are approaching our destination. Well, we're still about 50 kilometers away from Bato Piles. Bato Pilas. Bato Pilas. 50 kilometers away from Bato Pilas. This is probably where we're gonna see those dirt sections Poncho was talking about. Twisty road, and we are descending like crazy. We went from what 7,000 feet, 6,500 feet, currently at 4,000 feet, and we're still dropping. Oh, here we go. Here are the dirt stretches that Poncho was telling me about due to the landslides they had. Those rocks were about ready to go. Gotta pay attention to the road and not the epic views. There's way too much crap on the road right now. There's another 500 feet lower. We're at 3,500. Only 25 kilometers to go. As you saw by the road conditions a couple miles back, who knows how fast we're gonna do that in. Thirteen kilometers from. Why do I always forget the name? Bato. Bato. Bato Pilas. Hotel Hacienda del Rio. Well, we went from a nice, cool mountain climate at 8,000 feet down to 1,800 feet to a freaking hot desert climate, as you can tell with all the cactus on the mountainside. Oh, and we're here. Quick bite to eat. Check out the town. Now I gotta start heading back to Creel. Hey! <laughs> 
like we are almost to the town center. I have to jump in that river. It's gotta be mid 80s. Ah, here we are. Town center. Ah, perfecto. I'm gonna do a quick walk through the town and I gotta head back to Creel. Alex on the Tri Triumph, Caesar on the 1200 GS. Fantastic ride from Creel. One last stop. We're gonna check out the mission here in Bato Palace. Bato Pilas. Ba Bato Pilas. We were told there's a great mission to see nearby. Just 10 minutes. 10 minute ride, dirt ride. Mission Santa Angel. How bad is this going down? Ah, not terrible. Oh, there's the mission. Way off in the distance. We're not going all the way down just because of the time crunch. I gotta head back. Those guys are actually going to the next town to stay the night. So they wanna get rolling as well. Here we go, Creole. It shows me arriving at 7.38. I'm gonna be booking it back though. And now that I know the road, I kinda know what to expect. We're actually going quite a ways as a group back to the split off. We're going all the way up those twisties and then where that one intersection was where we turned right to get down here. They're gonna go right, I'm gonna go left, back to Creel. couple of rock slide areas. Two hundred feet, pine trees all around us, and it has cooled off. Oh, it feels great.
our split. Woo! <laughs> bike up, get back to the hotel, get the bags packed, just have everything ready to go for the AM. I am heading back into the U.S. tomorrow. I have about a 340 mile stretch until the town of Shafter, just across the border, about 50 miles north of the border in Texas. I have some friends that live there, so I'm going to visit them. And then from Shafter, I have about 933 miles left to my house. I'm about, what, 77 miles short of an iron butt. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to just go for the 933 in one day or do two days. I'll, I'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll just chug a bunch of Red Bulls or Starbucks espresso deals and get caffeined up shoot for it one day and I'm expecting to be back home for this weekend Memorial Day weekend which this video is going to come out much later than that we moved pretty fast I was like what two hours 20 minutes total I think trip time I stopped and grabbed a few more photos all right well I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll catch you in the next one